The independent vacuum pump is of a reciprocating diaphragm type and can be driven either through pulleys or by a crankshaft directly from the main shaft. The air pump evacuates air from the air separator, causing a vacuum to be raised. Once the level of liquid has entered the suction chamber, the float lifts and positively locates within the cone. This action also closes the rubber peel valve at the top of the float, limiting the potential for liquid carryover. The pump is now primed. The liquid enters the volute and is pumped away by the impeller, up through the non-return valve and out through the discharge.